So the left-handed hitting Jim Jarvis will face Logan Ross. And we are underway. 10 to two back on April 4th. This ball out into right field. Myers moving over, but he can't get there. First hit of the game belongs to Ed Johnson, the Alabama second baseman. Lines it out into right center. Right. Chopper, Cobb behind the bag, gets it to second for one. Sidearm throw to first. That was a good turn in the middle. Not quite able to get Gassetti. Rose lifts it in the air to right field. Cavanaugh going back to the track, to the wall. See you later. Alabama strikes first on the seventh home run of the year for Caden Rose, a two-run shot. You know, Richard, the hole at bat, they have a huge hole. Troy's playing Donovan Wibbs on the other side, the shortstop side of second base. You can see Caden Rose really trying to go that way. And it's like, hey, I just need to hit an 18 hopper to the right fielder. Instead, stays on this ball and absolutely shows the pop. And, and putting guys away, that's why you see 21 pitches. This one's hit fair down the first baseline. That's off the glove of Williamson, bumped into the umpire. Don't know that that really had any effect. It's this one out into right field. First hit of the regional for Shane Lewis. Mock will stop at second base. If that was going to affect Garrett McMillan. Four pitch walk to Clay Stearns. This ball hit on the ground is short. Jarvis takes it himself. That's a six to three double play, but a run comes home to score. And Troy is on the board. It's now two to one. There have been four walks. And a strikeout wild pitch. This one back up the middle. Johnson able to get a glove on it, but then he bobbles it. He's looking to try and spin and make that throw. That's an RBI single for Ethan Cavanaugh, and we are tied at two. Bartolero rips this one out to left field for a base hit. It's his third hit of the regional. And he lines this one the opposite way. Seidel on the run. That ball hits the light pole. It is gone. That is a three-run jack for William Sullivan, his 17th long ball of the year. And Troy hangs a five spot here in the bottom of the third to take a three-run lead over Alabama. Richard, another two-strike hit for the Troy Trojans. Seeing that ball deep right there, he knew it off the bat. That is an absolute laser. It's just a matter, was it gonna be high enough in it? And to start the game, Jim Jarvis reached on a wild pitch strikeout. This one grounded left side. That's a base hit for Matt Gassetti. To start things off here for Alabama in the top of the fourth. But well, I see what you're saying, Richard. You're, none you're of those talking. five free passes have scored. Rose rifles this one. That's fair. Third base side. It's going all the way to the corner. Gassetti going to go first to third with no trouble. It's a double for... Caden Rose, he's two for two in this game, and the Crimson Tide has two in scoring position. This ball ripped out into center field by Jim Jarvis. Gassetti comes home to score. They hold Caden Rose. Nobody out of the inning. You don't want to make the first out at home plate. So first and third for Bama, and it's a two-run game. And he got an NBA to go along with that undergrad degree. And he rips this one into left field, and that's going to cut into the lead again. Jim Jarvis going to be held up at third. He goes first to third. Tommy Seidel, RBI single. Ball gets away. Throw goes away. And now Tommy Seidel will jog to second base. That is their 91st error this season. And it leads to another run for Alabama. Well, Richie, you see the fastball. It's just not getting to the spot. Fuller, it keeps trying to go away. The ball keeps going over the middle. And yeah, a little short hop right there. Jim Jarvis heads up, base running. And then Donovan Wibbs tries to do the off-balance throw, goes all the way to the bike stop, and Tommy plays off, and he draws the walk. Fourth time that he has reached via a walk this weekend. Another one-two pitch. Williamson hits this one high in the air, out into right center field, not carrying as much at night. They've that, gotten that one off the end of the bat. Seidel trying to go second to third on a bum wheel. And he gets in just ahead of the throw. Tagging from second. 
Lifts this one out into shallow right field. Seidel will be able to jog home. Pinckney trying to go first to third. He slides in safely. I think his hand came off the bag, but he got back to it. Caleb Bartolero, the third baseman for Troy, asking his coach to request a review. Game of inches. Reaching back for the bag. Oh, I don't know. They're going to back that up a frame. You may have an out at third base. He is out at third base. Great camera work by our crew here. Put Alabama back on top. This one hit on the ground into the shift, fielded by the second baseman, playing deep. But Sullivan's foot came off the bag. And Shelton is safe at first. Six games in his first year, 2019. And then for Tennessee, wins the marathon in Clemson, South Carolina. Final score, 6-5. to five. This ball hit high into the air to right field, and you can kiss that one. Goodbye, home run. Cole Myers, we're tied at six. Four hundred one feet off the bat of Cole Myers. That was a no doubt bomb. Well, there's the one swing of the bat that Coach Me just talked about it. Yeah, what did he say? Homers and homers and, com and competing on the mound. Breaking ball. You hang it, you bang it, leave it up in the zone. McMillan, when he's good, he's down. That ball was up, and Cole Myers absolutely leaves the yard on that curveball. Deep into the Tuscaloosa night. Now Ethan Cavanaugh. I said just a moment ago, Jason Jackson, Longhorns trying to go 2-0. Kind of a three-quarter swing ground ball to Jarvis. It's short, low throw, but it's scooped by Williamson. He hits this one high. He is hitless no more. That ball may go over the scoreboard. Wow! Andrew Pinckney hit it a ton to left field. Seven to six, Bama back in front. Four hundred twenty-five feet. That seems conservative. I'm not going to argue with track man. One hundred five miles an hour off the bat. Launch angle was spectacular. Andrew Pinkney is Myers' work, and behind the count, one ball and two strikes. And he hits this one up the middle off the end of the bat. Somehow, Ed Johnson got to that ball. Had to kind of double clutch getting it out of his glove. I still don't know that he could have made the play, but what range by Johnson just to get to it. 2-2 Two -two lifted out into center field. Rose has got to come in. He's racing in, and it's going to fall between Rose and Jim Jarvis. First and second, nobody out for Troy. Here we go. He's got first and second, nobody out. Hard, big chopper left side. Shelton tries to unload, not in time. Bases loaded for Troy with three straight singles to start the bottom of the sixth. He's had so many leave the yard this year. He rips this one out to right field. That's in front of Pinckney. Tremaine Cobb Jr. will come home to score. That's a whole lot closer than it had to be. It was a force Horse at play. home plate. Did Gassetti have his foot on the bag? We may get a replay, may get a review. Cobb waited a long time to make sure that that ball was going to fall, and his foot, his foot came yep. off of home plate, and so did not get the force out. Palo Alto, Sanford, California. There's a sw swing and a miss. Stearns is the first out of the inning. My ball out into left field. Seidel and Rose both on the run. It's Rose, the center fielder, making the catch in the gap. His throw comes into second. Sacrifice fly for Cole Myers. Picks up his second RBI of the game. And now it's Troy back in front. Two runs in the inning to go up 8-7. Like 5-2 to, to pin. 2-2. Two, two. Called strike three on the outside corner. Williamson goes down on strikes. BC starter John West. Three pitch strikeout of Tremaine Cobb Jr. Full count. Ran inside and Hodo earns a walk. Oh wow, that was close. 
This ball lifted out into center field. Will Hodo goes back to second base. He's going to tag and head toward third, as is Caden Rose. So Alabama plays that well. Fly out, but both runners move up. But two outs here in the top of the ninth inning. Ground ball left side, fielded by Cobb. Takes his time, throws across, and it gets away. One run scores. We're tied. Here comes another. Caden Rose scores. How big were those tag ups to get to second and third? And Alabama takes the lead. Tremaine Cobb is sitting with his hands on his head out at shortstop. He got a little out of rhythm. Instead of just catching and throwing, he thought he had time and may have kind of guided it across the diamond. I mean, this is a three hopper to Cobb, takes that extra step. Alabama leading at nine to eight. Pinckney lifts this ball to right. Kavanaugh on the run, reaches out, pops out of his glove. Hamner comes all the way around. Pinckney trying to get to third. He'll do so with an RBI triple. Got to score that a hit. You have to. Kavanaugh had to run so far for that ball. My guess is he would tell you he should have caught it. Had it maybe hit the heel of his glove? No, no question. The ball's just up in the air so long. Kavanaugh made outstanding effort. So an intentional walk to Drew Williamson. That sets up a force at first and or second at first. Chopper up the middle, Cobb has it slip under his glove. Pinckney comes home to score. An RBI single for Dominic Tamez, and Alabama leads it 11-8. Four runs here in the top of the ninth. This ball lifted high into the area in center field off the bat of Colby Shelton. Myers will squeeze it. In big swings, but you just need a guys attacking with base runners. That's a strikeout to start things off for Alton Davis. Round ball left side. Jim Jarvis bobbles it, picks it up, throws to first. Not in time. Cole Myers beats it out. The 2 2. Grounder to second. Chance for two to short to first. Alabama wins and will play tomorrow night with a chance to advance to a super regional. And the Crimson Tide moved to 2 0 in the Tuscaloosa Regional. Troy and Boston College, 2 o'clock local time. Alabama, the winner of that game tomorrow night.